I know of a wild place. A place of many traditions. It's vast and unforgiving. This place forged me, shaped me into the man and hunter that I am today. I have given it my blood, sweat, and tears. In return, it has given me more than I could ever ask for. And I believe there are two types of hunters out there. People who go hunting, and people who hunt. This is where you sort them out. right now gonna go get uh, everything set up for opening day got Roslyn's tree stand that we put up about a month ago gonna make sure it's still there because a lot of people are obviously been scouting this past weekend so we got a checker camera make sure her stand's still there and no one stole it make sure it didn't get stolen I'm gonna head over to mine I got some cameras to go pull check that spot Monday before deer season starts. Deer camp anyways. Deer season's going on right now, but rifle season is this Thursday. So we've got a lot of snow out here. It's gonna be cold. It's obviously really bumpy. The exhaust. Um, and something up there smoking too. Yeah, it's the mud. That or it's the, the bullet that's still up here. Oh my god, that didn't come off. No, it stayed here the whole time. Do you believe that? Did you even know it was there? Oh, yeah, I knew <laughs> it was here. Dark. You ready? Yeah. It's rock and roll. Like that. That looks like a. He's an eight point. Yeah, some elk. But, uh, everything's good to go. Um, the tree stand's obviously still here, so the big raid of scouting that I'm sure people did this year um, obviously didn't. Uh, no one took it. Trail camera was there. We got she got quite a bit of bucks on camera. This is gonna be a spot for Roslyn, and uh, I got a bunch of doe tags for this year, so I may slip in here and get a doe if, if there's quite a bit. Um, Unfortunately, honey, this is not your county for does. I know. Sorry. But I have a doe tag for this county, so. But everything's looking good. We're not going to be back to the opening day. Roslyn knows where it's at. Um, of course, I've bow hunted in here before, so she she's familiar with the area. And uh, she also helped me put it up, so. You ready for uh, opening day, honey? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's get out of here. i got to go check some stuff. Uh, there's a pretty good deer sign back there. I followed someone else's tracks. Um, they came in from that grade. I might have an idea who it is, but um, they didn't set anything up. They just went back there, got to a dead end, and turned right around and walked back out. So who knows? But it looks looks pretty good back there. I got a few more spots to to check. Um, yeah. Not a lot of deer, but there's deer moving with this snow. I knew there would be, though. So, on to the next. Well, as you can see, right behind me, we just set up a little pop-up um, tent blind because we're going to come out here and this is where we can do some doe hunting because we both have doe tags. So, it's in a good little spot, some good little cover. 
just so snow covered here. Well, here we go. T minus three days. Pulling into deer camp, baby. Best time of year. Boys got the car poured up. Got one camper out here already. I'm hauling another one. It's on. We got some snowy conditions this year, but I think it's gonna make for some great. Mr. Michigan Gun, As everyone made their way into camp, we were all very confident going into this season. We had done our scouting in the spring, and there was no doubt we were putting ourselves in great positions to kill deer. There had been a lot of deer moving in the area within the weeks leading up to the season. This was a great sign going into deer camp. It was time to put the bows away and break out the rifles in hopes of another great year at Deer Camp. Someone's excited to be at deer camp because they just rolled up. Wow, we're enjoying our fine meal. You should. Is this the Michigan Gone Wild Deer Camp? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> All right. What's your prediction for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is going to be windy with a high of cast of <laughs> 27 below. We all gonna die. <laughs> we gonna die. God bless us. God bless us. In and out my kitchen. Brother uh, Jacob, what's your prediction my... for tomorrow? Oh. I'm killing something. Not sure what. Not it's sure cold. how big. But I'm killing something. It's gonna be cold. If it gets too cold, I'm gonna go turn the heater on. Set a pop up. <laughs> Talk about your feelings to yourself. I just hope one of us kills a big buck. Yeah. Something. Lay down the hate. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Thomas, what's your prediction for tomorrow? My prediction: tall trees, high up in tall trees, windy, cold. Hopefully, big bucks or does. I got a tag in my pocket that I'm ready to fill. Game time. Man, he's serious. <laughs> Do you think he Team money? That? Team money. What's your prediction for tomorrow? <laughs> Cold as hell. <laughs> hey, preach it. Preach it, brother. It's so cold tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking 827 tomorrow. Really? 827. 827. Oh, no shit. 827. I'm going to look across that marsh. It's gonna be a spike, Lionel. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, seriously, nine twenty-seven. I don't know why that twenty-seven is coming on. Right? Right after you shoot, the other one will pick up out of my mind. Yeah. Well, nine twenty-seven in the morning. I'm gonna look up the edge of the marsh. There's gonna be a buck working his way down to me. I'm gonna pull a three hundred wind mag up. Sit down, son. I got one. I need help. <laughs> somebody, somebody, please. Yeah. yeah. I'm not being as picky this year. I got I got a ton of doe tags. I got two buck tags and five doe tags. I'm not being picky this year. I got to kill some deer. I'll shoot a doe. I'll shoot a doe. I haven't shot a doe in 10 years. I'll kill it. I'm killing a doe in rifle season. I haven't shot a doe with a rifle in 10 years. Tomorrow's opening day. 
We got some deer to kill. We're gonna kill some deer. And we're gonna have fun doing it. See you in the morning, guys. As we eagerly awaited the next morning, it was hard to imagine what the day would bring us. Opening day in 2017 was a downpour rain. 2018 would bring us snow and freezing cold temperatures, much like the 2014 season. The season where this all began. Oh my God, Nick. There's a beautiful deer, man. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a blessing. <laughs> Hunters all across Michigan endured freezing temperatures and unfavorable hunting conditions. We were at the mercy of Mother Nature. Still, there are those that weathered the storm and were able to get the job done. I'd hoped that this year would bring us similar fortunes. morning. Last year we had downpour rains. Now we just got freezing temps. Not sure if I should be ice fishing or deer hunting today. Let's go ask Charlie. Just the big ones are going to be out today. The little ones are going to be sleeping. Hey, the little ones are going to be sleeping. Hey, it's pretty cold. It's cold. It's though. nice out. I like it. No, you don't. Remember, Charlie. Hey. I got a whole box of shells. I got two. <laughs> I got a whole box. <laughs> I got two. I may kill a doe today. I'm, I'm not. I, I was thinking about that when I was sleeping. I might kill a doe today. Just Mm-hmm. What do you got? What do you got here? Heat holders. Those oh. socks or socks. That's those with socks that Steve McMillan was talking about. Mm. Travis, good luck today. You too. Good luck today. Oh, talk to that. Oh, I'm tell good. everyone out there good luck today. Well, everyone good luck. Someone's gonna kill a buck. I know I'll I'll kill kill it. I'll I'll just this. keep going high. By noon today, Charlie will not have confidence in his spot. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to switch. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. You don't think that's funny? Just get that guy out of here. <laughs> back in here. I put body warmers on you. You put body warmers on me. Yeah, we'll put body warmers on each other. <laughs> Maybe it's Chuckles here. It's Chuckles here. Guys, guys, I shot a monster. <laughs> monster four point. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill you. This is a nice little camper. I'm gonna go kill three deer. It's not bad. Hey, look, it's, it's cold. It's very, very cold. Yeah, but it's a place to sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna get another buddy heater. <laughs> Boys, lady, good luck on this fine, beautiful morning. Right back at you. Good luck. This season is not going to be easy. Last night was all jokes and fun. Now it's time for business. I have a lot of doe tags. And I have two buck tags. Deer are going to die this year. I'm not going to be picky. And I don't think any of them are going to be picky. So if you're offended by deer being shot that doesn't meet your standards, or does getting shot with a rifle. I may want to walk away from this one. Good luck to everyone this morning. Ladies and gents, it's game time. Shoot straight. 
straight, gents. Boys, good luck. Shoot straight. Do it. in a bit once they let the swamp. Let's go. Rifle season is officially open. And it is a cold one. I said I wasn't being too picky this year. I didn't mean that. <laughs> that wind's starting to pick up, but everything else is warming up. It's colder up here, but deer are starting to move around now. No rest over here. He popped out. Mary's right down here. I 
I switched over the film because they have five point out six point. I saw six point. Six point, the six point was out here. I had to do, I don't want to fall and come out to the marsh. And I'm like, what is this eight point doing? Why is he not going out there? That five, six point started chasing them toes. And I'm like, I was like, this is cool, but I was like, I gotta make sure this buck back here doesn't pop out. And that's exactly what he did. He come walking out right here. Oh, baby, opening day buck down. Oh, that is so cool. That deer walked right underneath my tree stand. He looks like good eight point too. I had my gun the way it was. I was sitting here, I'm like leaning over and I have nothing to rest on. That was about a 160 yard freehand shot. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, well, there ain't no tracking job here and I really want to warm up. So let's go take a look at him. Yeah, there's his tracks right here. This is where he comes out. And instead of coming out into the marsh, he circles around and he wouldn't come out. Them deer, a lot of times when you get snow on these marshes, it lays that buffalo grass down. And them deer, they know that they stick out like a sore thumb. So what they'll do is they'll just circle around like this buck did. He got in them cattails and he walked through. And that's where I shot him. This is cool. about that. What an absolute beautiful morning. <sighs> that is just, what a cool morning. I am so, so happy that I don't have to sit in that tree stand. It is so cold out. Oh man, public land, northern Michigan. We've been doing this for four years, five years now. And I, I love it more and more each day. Being able to bring our hunts to you guys and to be able to show you, you know, the way we do things up here. It may be different everywhere else, but what we do up here, we love it. We love how we do it. We love how hard we got to work, you know, for bucks like this. I mean, I'm just, I'm blessed. This is a great morning in God's country. And uh, this is a great start to the Michigan firearm season and to deer camp. So thank you all for watching. We got a lot of hunting left to do. It's only the first morning and I got a pile of doe tags and I got another buck tag. So. This is number one. I have to also mention that's that's my first deer with the rifle that Rosalind bought me as our wedding gift. So a great way to get it broken, huh? Well, let's get this buck gutted up and we'll get him out of the woods. Something uh, cool I wanted to show you guys here is you ever kill a buck, say you got a buck tag left, or feeling generous and you want to give your friend or your buddy a, <clears throat> a good opportunity at killing a buck, take the tarsal glands off the buck that you kill. I took both of them off and I'm going to give them to someone else, <clears throat> one to someone else, and uh, it depends if I keep on this spot. I, I, really don't know what else I have on camera here just because a lot of the cameras hadn't been working and I hadn't really put in a lot of effort into this spot but I decided to hunt it on a last minute whim however tarsal glands are an amazing amazing attractant uh, I put them up in trees and came back the next day and the trees are just ripped apart tarsal glands are probably my number one scent uh, just because you can get it right off the deer but in taking care of the tarsal glands it's very important that you don't get any guts any urine or anything like that as you can see 
I took the tarsal glands off and immediately put them into a plastic pouch. If you have a plastic Ziploc bag or something like that, that will do just fine, obviously, as well. But tarsal glands are amazing. I will use one of these probably to another spot that um, I've had my eye on for a while. However, I haven't been able to get back in there. Um, probably give one to someone else. Hopefully someone else kills a buck. I know Travis got a six point on the ground, so that's two bucks on the ground for our camp. And uh, it's a great start to this year's deer camp. So I'm gonna get this guy out of the woods and uh, go get warm. The Buck Slayer. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, what do you think? I'll take it. Nice buck. He's a two and a half year old deer. Good two and a half year old. I got tarsal glands. I see, I already caught them off. Were they, they black? Any of, the, any of the guts on it. Huh? Were they black? Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Good and stinky. Got a, got a six point. I'll turn them on. Here I was, ready to carry this thing out, got it out a little ways, and the army showed up. The deer camp's all about. Oh guys, uh, <clears throat> about 12 30 in the afternoon we just got done dragging Alvin's nice eight point out good job Alvin um, we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight we didn't see anything this morning it was cold I don't think the deer really started moving until about the time we got out to go help Alvin get his buck out of the woods um, but I'm gonna try sitting on the ground uh, something I don't do very often it's been a few years since I've uh, deer hunted from the ground but it's a lot more comfortable you can sit a lot longer so uh, get a heater in there turn it on we're gonna give it a shot <clears throat> I got everything set up in there I just all I got to do is walk in and throw the pop-up up and we're ready to go so we're gonna have a uh, five six hours this afternoon five hours to sit and then uh, hopefully someone's got a deer on the ground by this evening and get it out of the woods and head to the buck pole so stay tuned all right i am back in the tree and ready to hunt the evening hunt i went and put my buck up on the buck pole got back and maybe i'll kill another one maybe i'll kill some a doe i wouldn't mind killing a doe maybe not tonight but uh i wouldn't mind killing the battery life looking at him. I was kind of hoping it was a doe so I could shoot a doe. Still got some shots cracking off but I'm about out of camera light here so I'm gonna shut her down. It's been a great day. I gotta get back to my truck, charge my phone and see if any of the guys had any luck. My phone's dead so <laughs> I gotta go see if uh Anybody else killed anything that need help dragging, so lots of shots going off. Alright. Elvin out. Cookies up in here.
after after a whole day in the tree stand. Ah. Congratulations, Tori. Big D, you can slide with the Michigan State, but congratulations, buddy. Hell of a luck. 10 points, 16 inch spread. Your first place winner is Justin Schramm. Now, Justin, we got a little story behind this deer, and you're going to tell it whether you like it or not. Kind of embarrassed. <clears throat> All right, so this 10 point, I ended up uh, going out to shoot him and I cocked my crossbow back and my limbs broke. So I had to stop hunting and take it to Jay Sporting Goods. My buddy shot a nine point the night before to limit out. So I took his crossbow out and then he didn't tell me that his kid dropped it. So as you can tell, there's a hole in the, or just in the pocket of, uh, below the spine. So I paid my buddy Jason Reichman and his buddy a hundred dollars to come out with a dog and we couldn't find it. So I ended up shooting him this morning. So, never give up, keep trying. Good job, man, congratulations. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight. We look forward to seeing you all next year. Good luck hunting the rest of this season. All right, I'm heading out here with my little brother. He shot a buck earlier this morning and um, so, I'm out here gonna help him kind of recover it and, and bring it in. He said he, he shot it and he drug it to the blind um, and took care of everything and then um, decided to hunt for a little bit longer. So we'll get a peek at it. He's up from school in St. Louis, Missouri. So he only has this week or the first couple days to hunt. So it's kind of good that he got a deer. It's exciting. I'm excited to share it with him. Well, it's uh, no November 16th, had a good hunt here, uh, hunting private land on Charlevoix County. Had a good hunt this morning, had a doe come running across the um, swamp. Had a little eight pointer following him, they were, he was rotting pretty good, she was, must have been a pretty good hot doe. Um, didn't t decide to take a shot, they obviously went a little deeper in the swamp, wasn't able to see him. Five minutes later, this guy came running around, running down the same trail. Both of them must have been chasing the same doe. And unfortunately for this guy, and lucky for me, I was able to get a good shot at him. He never stopped. He was had his nose down in the ground, going after that doe as well as that eight-pointer. But um, it was a pretty good hunt. We got some snow on the ground. Uh, good luck to all those hunters, and hopefully everybody stays safe. And I'm just very thankful for this buck right here. Don't get, to, get I don't get out much this year because I live in Missouri, so I only had four days to hunt, and this is the second day. Hopefully, I can get some more luck in the next two days. Make sure you get my good shot. Scratch back straps at deer camp. Fishing Gone Wild, this is how we do it. 2018, uh, Travis's first year out. He got us a six point, that's what we're eating tonight. Eating good at camp, that's for sure. A couple more guys are gonna be coming out. Hi. Caleb sniffed it out. Uh, <laughs> meal fit for a king. How cool is that? I didn't find a line. Beef steak, fried taters, and a pumpkin pie from Shauna. Let's eat.
Well guys, got a couple minutes of camera battery. Um, can't tell you how excited I am to be able to get this buck. I mean, I was running out of hope. First four days of deer season, um, pretty rough. Seen one buck in the first four days, I think. And then uh, decided to come a little bit closer to home this afternoon. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Um, and, uh, Wanted to come out and hunt with my dad and my brother. Don't get to hunt with them much. Uh, they do their own camp. Um, came out here within an hour of being in the stand. Hour and a half maybe at the most. Had this buck come in, shot him, seen a smaller buck, seen some does. Um, so it all paid off. You know, it's just a matter of putting your hours in and uh, staying persistent, you know. I'm excited. Get to go back to work tomorrow. I was a little worried I wasn't gonna be able to fill a tag before uh, before I went back to work, but I stuck with it and made it happen. Not a giant buck, but he's a nice Michigan eight point. Can't complain, nice heavy horn. See he's been doing some fresh, fresh rubbing. Um, he's got a cool little hole in his horn over here. Stick Dang near my whole pinky in there that's pretty neat but um yeah I'm, I'm happy I got a long haul out of here and a big hill to take them up so I'm gonna get them dressed out and start hauling them out of here stay wild all right I'm headed out right now I'm going to get in my tree stand it's November 19th I haven't been in the tree since opening day. I just haven't been able to. I've been out in the woods to uh, look at a few things, but I haven't been able to hunt due to work and everything. So we're dealing with some really, really cold temperatures. There's not a lot of deer being seen. Jake shot an eight point last night. But other than that, not a lot of people are seeing deer. I swear to God, anything that can go wrong 
is going wrong today. I got my lavalier mic and the piece broke off it. I get up on my dang tree stand and my seat fell off. So now I rigged up where I took a ratchet strap and strapped it around so that way I could sit on that. So I'm sitting a little extra lower. It's way uncomfortable. And I got a knot in my back. This isn't good. I am not feeling good about this at all whatsoever. So now i got to find a way to rig this up so it's in front of my face because I don't have my other microphone. It is a beautiful view, though. I will give it that. Very beautiful view. So don't mind me. I'm going to try getting this rigged up so that way it's not... So that way you guys can hear me when I'm talking. Alright, I got this somewhat figured out now, so... It's really, really cold out here. I'm going to reiterate, this is the last time. If I see a doe, I'm shooting it. Tell you what, if there's some coyotes come over here, I'm going to shoot them. Do you dare, Elvin? I really want to. One looks like it's already coming this way. I won't pass up the opportunity to smoke a coyote. Definitely not. Got enough of those running around. Good thing about people walking around like that, you know, while you're in the tree stand at prime time, they could kick deer to you. <laughs> the joys of hunting public land. Keeps it interesting, that's for sure. Maybe they'll scare deer to me. is cold. Still waiting to hear back from Caleb. He said he shot at a buck. Alright, let's get out of the woods. Oh. Well, here's the doe that I shot tonight. It's actually why I came into this stand. I had quite a bit of does in here, so I wanted to get one out. This doe, uh, actually, it's a big doe. I didn't realize she was this big. I was actually going to shoot the one behind it just because it looked a little bit smaller and it was on you know my side of the creek. Wouldn't have had to have crossed the creek. But uh, this one stepped out and said, well, if I'm going to do it, you know, let's do it now. But this is the first doe that I've taken in 10 years. Actually, exactly 10 years with a rifle. I've shot one with a muzzle loader. I usually like to fill my doe tags with a bow. But this year I was pretty hard-pressed to get any time in a tree stand uh, on bow season here in Michigan anyways. So I figured, well, we'll break in the new rifle that, that Roslyn got me and uh, 
fill some doe tags. So she's going to be great for the freezer. Beautiful animal. Made a good shot. She dropped right there. That's, uh, that's the way we all hope that it goes. Drop them right there and get it over with as quick as possible. So thanks a lot, guys. Deer camp's not all about just shooting shooting bucks. You got some doe tags. You can fill those too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's, uh, I should say, good morning. Uh, it's the next, the following morning after I shot this guy. Uh, I shot him about 4.30 last night. Uh, he was chasing a doe all uh, rutted out, big neck on him, uh, good-sized body on him. Uh, like I said, he was chasing a doe. He came in front of me about three, four different times. Uh, I tried to get, get it on camera. Um, I was just having issues with the cold, the batteries, and uh, I tried to warm them up with my body, stick them back in there. I just wasn't having any luck with it. So about the fifth time, he came down out of the cedar swamp, come down and tongue sticking out, just tired. And he was trotting, and uh, I just gave me a good shot, uh, neck high, and I took him in the neck. He dropped right in his tracks, put him right to sleep. Just a good deer all the way. Uh, it's gonna fill the freezer up. I'm really happy. Um, I gotta do a shout out to my boy, my little man, uh, Jake Kevin. You got her done. Uh, if it wasn't because of his patience, this wouldn't have happened this year. He's always, he's right there in the woods with me hiking. He's right on my back. You know, what I mean, every time I'm in the woods, he's with me no matter what. Um, but. It's just been too cold for him, so this this time I got this deer without him, but I want to do a shout out to him. Uh, love you, buddy. But uh, hopefully we can get a couple more down on the ground for you guys for 2018. Uh, we got a, several different bucks on the ground already. A couple does. Um, Elvin's filling the freezer up pretty good. So I got two more tags. I got my big tag to still fill. I got a doe tag for Exego County for public land. So hopefully we can get it done. Uh, hopefully it's for Thanksgiving Day. Um, so stay tuned, stay wild, Michigan gone wild. All right, it's uh, quarter, quarter to three, which means I got about two and a half hours of hunting. I came in, just got this all set up. Found quite a bit of deer sign. There's a lot of deer tracks in here. Um, this is the spot where I came in the day after opening day, and I just did a quick run through, scouted it out. I found that rub line that starts back on that, way back by that uh, big marsh back here. It's way too thick, you can't sit over it. And then there's a swamp right here where you can't get a tree stand in it. You can't get a tree stand on this island, anyways, because the wind's blowing right at the deer. Anything out of the south, anything out of the south will screw you on this island. But there's a lot of deer sign on here. And if I haven't said it already, I absolutely hate hunting out of pop-up lines. But that's the only way that I can hunt this. It'd be different if we had a good northwest, consistent northwest wind. I might be able to get away with some stuff. Um, but I can't. There's just so much deer movement on this island, and up here on this, uh, the top part of it, and even on the side of it, there's just too much sign, and any wind out of the south is going to screw me, so I have to be up, this is one of the, one of the biggest openings right here, and I have to absolutely be right in here, because that rub line comes right out over here, and it pops back in over there, and it crosses the marsh over here, there's a beaver pond. That's how the deer are getting back and forth. There's a lot of logging going on, probably about a mile and a half to the west of here. And uh, that's where the deer are going. But they're better back in this swamp on these little marshes. And it's just a really, really thick marsh. So I'm going to get tuckered in here. And this is where I'm going to sit pretty much all weekend. Um, I know there's deer in here. It's just a matter of seeing them. There you go hunting my deer. Yeah. I want to see a deer. That's the thing. I just want to see a deer. Because I've been skunked. You will. I 
feel it. Well, I'm sitting out with Elvin right now because he's an amazing husband and I've gotten freaked out at the last spot that I was at when I was coming out. Um, so he's letting me hunt with him tonight and I guess we'll see what happens. I haven't seen a single thing since one doe opening day. So, uh, I guess we'll give it a shot. There's a deer. God. I'm pretty sure I just scoped myself too. Oh my God. I just dropped him. We got another round in there. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. Him though. We haven't been in the blind for five minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have an amazing husband. I haven't seen a single freaking deer. Oh my god. 
This is his exit right there. It's because you hit him right in the chest. You shot an 11 point. I'm sorry. That's fine, honey. We can keep hunting, right? We can keep hunting. What did I tell you, though? I have the most amazing husband in the whole entire world. I told you there was a big buck in this spot, didn't I? Yes. I came in here the day after opening day, and I knew there was a big buck in this spot, and he was going to die. I feel so bad, though. No. No. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I saw the doe looking back and I knew something was here. And then Elvin said there's a buck. And I couldn't see him, I was waiting for him to move out a little bit more, but he didn't even, he just stayed right here and finally, finally we got him on the scope and Elvin said put it on the chest. And he went down. I'm so thankful for Elvin and letting me hunt with him. I've been out quite a bit and I've only seen one doe and it was just the butt end of her on opening day. And I'm very thankful, I'm very thankful that Elvin let me come out here. It's like getting our buck through the wall, honey. <laughs> I can't believe it. All I saw was through the scope. I just saw him kind of just like fall back and go down. You made a good shot. You made a really good shot. I told you there was a big buck in here, didn't I? I know. I feel so guilty. Why? He's going on our wall. You're an amazing husband. You're an amazing wife. And this is my first, first deer with this gun. I got this for Christmas two years ago. So to be able to share it with Elvin and with the gun that he bought me for Christmas. It's pretty special. Yes, it is, honey. <sighs> Let's get them all tagged up. Mm, I love you. I love you. Look at that buck. That's a big buck, honey. You ready to drag him out of the woods? Yeah, it's gonna suck. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, that's a wrap. I only got one book today. Darn it, right? After five seasons of producing this series, I'm reminded that things do not always go as planned. Sometimes, the deer hunting gods see a different outcome to be more fit. And sometimes, that different outcome turns out to be a much better story. Regardless of the outcome, each season has been a success. Everything that we've experienced, the highs and lows, the victories and defeats, we've shown right here. There was no telling that when we first started this, that it would become what it has. 
but I am grateful for the journey that I am on and the people on it with me. I've learned a great deal over the last five years, not only of hunting, but also of myself. There's no telling where we'll be in the next five years, and it really doesn't matter. We have a great tradition, a huge passion for what we do, and great people to share it with. What more could I ask for?